my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. After many months of isolation, economic hardships, and illness and death caused by the pandemic, we're more than ready for the joy of Christmas. The way we celebrate will be different this year because of social distancing and travel restrictions, but celebrate we must. Do you think that the saints and angels celebrate Christmas in heaven? I hope so. This is a wonderful feast filled with warmth and love, peace and joy. I know that every day in heaven is delightful, but maybe even heavenly bliss can be turned up a notch at least one day a year with the magnificent voice of an angelic choir and the brilliant glow of a shining star. I can just imagine the joy that our Blessed Mother and all the saints must feel on this very special day. Do you suppose that if we ask them with humble hearts this Christmas day, they would open the gates of heaven just enough to let their joy overflow, filling our troubled world with a small share of the happiness and peace they possess in eternal life with God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We associate joy with Christmas. Do we know what joy is? Have we experienced it lately? In his autobiography, Surprised by Joy, the English writer C.S. Lewis speaks of joy as something very different from pleasure or even happiness. Joy is something deeper, richer, more elusive. It takes us by surprise and affects us profoundly. Joy is the satisfaction of our deepest desires. And it's intimately connected to God. Like St. Augustine wrote, that our hearts are restless until they rest in God. When I was a boy in elementary school, the sisters gave us a very simple but profound tool for learning what joy is. They told us that when you spell joy, J-O-Y, the J stands for Jesus, who should always come first in our lives. The O stands for others who come second. And the Y stands for yourself. Place Jesus first, others second, and yourself last of all, and you will know joy. Isn't it amazing how these simple teaching devices cut right to the heart of the matter? Volumes of philosophy, theology, and spirituality have been written on the notion of joy and happiness. And the nuances they contain are important, but I believe for the fullness or accuracy of our understanding, what the sisters taught us is no less profound. If you place Jesus first in your life, if you think of others before you think of yourself, you will be surprised by joy. Jesus Christ is the greatest Christmas gift, the source of all real joy, the reason for the season. He is the gift of the Father, the divine Word, who by the power of the Holy Spirit became one of us in all things but sin. This amazing gift was first given to Mary and then to all of us to save us from the devastating power of sin and death. During this time of pandemic, social unrest and economic hardship, we need the gift of God's love more than ever. This is what we celebrate at Christmas time, on earth as I hope in heaven. The day when we call to mind most vividly the mystery of the incarnation and the joy of Christ's birth. Christmas celebrates the joy, the fulfillment of all human desire. All other Christmas gifts pale in the comparison to this one. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. On Christmas day and throughout this joyous season, we are invited to join with Mary and all the angels and saints in a joy-filled festival of happiness and peace. In heaven, there are no tears, no sorrow, and no worries about tomorrow. Because heaven is not really a place, a geographic location, but an experience of loving closeness or communion with God, who is our heart's desire. It's hard to imagine what this grand celebration of heavenly joy looks like. We like to use images of music and dancing and sumptuous food because that's what our earthly celebrations are like. But we really don't know for certain what Christmas is like in heaven. The joy in heaven on Christmas day cannot be accurately described in earthly words or images. 
But we believe with all our hearts that those who have gone before us to our heavenly home rejoice on this day. And we hope and pray that this joy will spill over and bring peace on earth today and always. Jesus is our J-O-Y. When we place him first, others second, and ourselves third, everything falls into proper perspective. I pray you enjoy a peaceful and faith-filled Christmas season. May God bless you and your loved ones. Merry Christmas.